This is an unboxing of the Google Chromecast Ethernet adapter that Google sells on their website for I think around 15 bucks. Um, it comes in a plain box. There's no Google branding anywhere. Uh, actually, there's the black thing at the bottom that shows Google. So inside the box, it's pretty plain. You get the instruction manual on how to plug it. I did a previous video of having issues where the Chromecast Ethernet adapter wouldn't connect to Ethernet for me, and no matter what I did, it just wouldn't work. Well, it's because I didn't follow the directions to the T. Like, you need to follow this. Follow the number, the sequence. So, plug in the Ethernet adapter into the Chromecast. Um, plug your Ethernet cable that's going from your router into the Ethernet adapter, and then plug your Ethernet adapter into the wall. So, follow this. Um, you also get this little um, instruction manual thing. Uh, you don't really need it. It's, it can go in the trash. And here is the actual Ethernet adapter. I like it. It's sleek. It's nice and black. It matches my TV. It's got the Chromecast logo, or Chrome logo, here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Try and get it in there. But yeah, it's good quality. feels good in my hand. Uh, there's a little spot here for the Ethernet cable to go into, plugs into the wall, and then this end obviously goes into your Chromecast. I'm going to be doing a, a second video showing the difference between my Wi-Fi speeds and my Ethernet speeds. Like most of you, I live in an area where Ethernet, I mean, where Wi-Fi just doesn't really work. I live in an apartment complex, so there's tons of wireless routers here that are causing interference with mine. And when I'm watching like Netflix or YouTube, videos will just stop or they'll get stuck in a buffer loop. So that's why I picked this up. I ended up borrowing one of my friends just to test it out and it worked amazing. I was getting decent speeds with Wi-Fi, but the ping was horrible. Once I plugged this in, my speed almost doubled and the ping was wicked low. It was perfect. So I decided to pick one up myself. For 15 bucks, you can't go wrong. But there, if 15 bucks is too much for you, there's tons of do-it-yourself options where you can buy all the separate components and put them together. Personally, it's not worth it. I pieced it together and priced it out, and it ended up being $12. If you're that picky about money, then go for it. But 15 bucks, that's cheap enough for me. So yeah, stay tuned for my next video. I'll show you speeds and uh, how to set it up and stuff.